Uh, I had literally three hours sleep last night, and yet, oddly, I feel roaring, roaring and raging. How, oh, how do you explain no. that? And funnily enough, you said that you had a really good night's sleep on Sunday night and perhaps had too much yeah. sleep. Yes. So you're on better form when yes. you've had only three yes. hours. And in fact, when I ran a newspaper, a daily paper for 10 years, Did you? same thing. Were you if a I newspaper did... editor? Yeah, I was, yeah, very okay. successful. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever yeah. do The Apprentice over in I, the States? I, I was a newspaper editor very successful for 10 years. Got talent. <laughs> Once over The Apprentice. Uh, was in number one talent shows all around the world. And we're uh, on a date with Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle. Yeah, Brilliant. you're looking, you're looking at one of the most successful people on God's earth. Um, so congratulations to the viewers uh, for listening to me now. Yeah, it's all come to this, unfortunately, but there we are. It's your Can't planet, Piers, and we're you? just in your orbit. I like to think so. Mm. Uh, it doesn't everyone have their own orbit? Which are, we're talking about this yes. later, because we have a debate about whether the earth is flat or not. I know, I know, but we have got people who think it is. Including so, Freddie Flintoff, apparently. Your friend Freddie. Well, I think he was actually winding everybody up. It was a, a program about conspiracy theories. So I think Fred was having a bit of fun. But I think, <laughs> there will, well, there'll be a person on later who's not uh, seen the funny side, does think the Earth is flat. A friend of um, Buzz Aldrin and um, an astronaut himself.